up guys? How's it going everybody? My name is Blitzwing our ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Spongebob a Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. We are back at it again. And today, of course, we are continuing the exploration of the kelp forest. We've got three of Patrick's socks collected. We got three gold spatulas collected, obviously working on all the other ones, which is proving to be easier said than done. But the hope is that we still manage to go on ahead and get all of those items collected. And of course, there's also three of the six campers that we needed to rescue now already rescued. So that is what we are currently working on. So with that all in mind, let's get back to work, shall we? Because we've got lots and lots more of exploring to do. So the thing is, uh, oh, sorry. And I should have mentioned this as well, by the way, guys. Of course, if you're enjoying the gameplay walkthrough, please consider leaving a like. I really do appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so very much to each and every single one of you who uh, has left a like. Okay, so it's obvious that we're going to need to try to throw try to throw that item across. That's quite clear. And I think if we take this off, yeah, it gets rid of the, that platform, which is impossible for us to do right now. We have to have that platform there if we hope to get up there. So that means we have to try to find a rock elsewhere. Or, heck, maybe you don't even need the rock. Maybe you could just use this watermelon. Okay, so I think that would work. Hmm. Okay. So I know that I've got that figured out, but I'm I'm a little confused as to why exactly. When we walked up using the um, fruit, we could actually walk up. Uh, sorry, we could throw the fruit further. I mean, I guess now that I think about it, it does kind of make sense since the fruit is probably much. Is there a way to, like, put this item down without... Hey, Patrick. There we go. That's what we need to do. Okay, so we got that figured out. Now, we basically have to grab this fruit and bolt over here. Quick, run. Hurry up, Patrick. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. One, two, three, four. Made the jump. And we did it. Whew, okay, so this is how I think we're supposed to unlock that last crystal item that we're going to gather in order to complete the uh, Barnacle uh, Boy mission that has been presented to us. I don't even know where that vine was. Huh. Could it be somewhere here, maybe? I think it is, actually. Sure is. Sweet. Mission complete. Now, if I could just make this jump back, please. Yes. That works. Easy. Easy. No worries. I mean, a little bit of worry, but still. Um. Oh, well, that's awkward. Uh, that is really, really awkward. Oh, no. Did I just reset the one that I just... <laughs> oh, that is so upsetting. Because I do know that we're, we're going to need Spongebob to complete this mission as well, aren't we? Let's see. Because I see that red button there, so I'm guessing that that's the button that... How did we throw this across before? There we go. That's what it was. All right, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to redo that task once more. So Get that shiny object. Hurry up, Patrick. Grab that. Jump, jump, jump time. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, easy. Easy. No worries. 
Okay. That goes there. Okay. So with that being completed, now all I need to do is go back here. Drop down through here. And switch back into SpongeBob. Okay. Man, the game is starting to get more and more complex, which is honestly, again, uh, in my opinion, a good thing because it's keeping the game fresh and it's keeping the game a lot more fun to actually play through. At least in my opinion. So I don't know if you guys agree or disagree. Let me know in the comments section below. Oh, I forgot. We need a trivia question for today as well. I need to think of a trivia question. So throughout the episode, I'll come up with a question, guys. I promise. I promise we'll come up with some cool question for you. To be a challenge. Okay, so that gets us up here. And that, of course, now reveals the final switch. That SpongeBob is supposed to power up. Guess we should probably face this way. We got it. Okay, so that has unlocked this area which means we get ourselves another golden spatula bringing our total of uh, golden spatulas to 68 so that's pretty awesome i also forgot we need to go talk to uh, barnacle boy again right to uh hand in the mission Ooh, kelp vines looks like there's some there's gonna be some parkour work that will be necessary here oh, hello kyle <laughs> who's kyle I Trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. Ah, okay. Was it seven seconds or less? <gasps> Who knows what that's a reference to? Vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. Okay. If you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold specials. Oh, luckily we had a lot of practice over on the sand mount. So, obviously, uh, thanks to the sand mountain uh, slopes, we're good to go now for these uh, well, time challenges. With all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. <laughs> you gotta love that overconfident expression <laughs> that Spongebob has. Okay. We will. So, I guess the time has been set. We're supposed to complete this challenge in under 101 seconds. Let's go. I love opening presents. And of course, the thing is, when he said, try not to fall off, from what I have gathered... Okay, well, that was a mistake. Um, from what I have gathered, most of the time, you actually do want to try to fall off from the different um, slopes because there's usually a shortcut that you can use. Okay, so I'm going to keep my eyes open for any type of shortcut. So far, I haven't seen any yet. Seems like everything has been... ...sort of pretty straightforward. No real... ...shortcut opportunities, even. Maybe this one doesn't require... ...for you to use a shortcut. Maybe you can just complete it. To be fair, I didn't even try the first time here, so... Maybe we can. Is this the right way? Sure isn't. It sure is not! <laughs> I know, I know, mermaid man! This mission has proven to be much more difficult than I expected it to be. But again, I'm honestly happy that the game is getting more complicated. Because that was my one critique, is that I was saying before, I'm like... I really hope the difficulty goes up, and it certainly has. So I can't complain about that anymore. The puzzling elements are starting to get more complicated. The platforming elements, more importantly, are starting to get more complicated. And that is keeping the game a lot more fun to play. Okay. So... Part of me wants to just complete the race without, like, actually going for any shortcuts. But then another part of me knows that I probably will need to do some of these shortcuts in order to complete this challenge. Are you serious, SpongeBob? Oh, Mermaid Man! 
I really, really... Just, I don't know. Just, th th you know what? That's a tartar sauce moment right there. You just want to say, oh, tartar sauce. You know? Okay, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. We can do this. We can do this. I know we can complete these challenges. We got an ultra combo right there. That's pretty nice. I guess that's kind of the bright side is that we are getting a pretty ridiculous amount of shiny objects as a reward here. So at least there's something good coming from all these failed attempts of this race. Uh oh. Okay. So I think that is most likely the shortcut that you're supposed to take. And I hope I'm right about that. Looks like there was a shortcut down below that area as well. There's probably a Patrick sock somewhere to be found here as well. If I had to guess. I don't know which of these routes is like shorter or not. So I'm hoping that the one that we've selected will get us to the completion of the race on time. And it did. Look at that. Dude, we completed the race with a ton of time to spare. We got our 69th golden spatula collected. We get uh, the next area unlocked. Oh, wait. No, that takes you back to the kelp forest, I guess. So let's go through there, I guess. Um, and I am aware that we're going to need to switch back into Patrick here, right? So that's quite obvious. So let's see. You know what? Here's what we'll do. The first thing we're going to do is actually travel back um, this way in order to speak to Barnacle Boy because I think once we hand in the six power crystals, he should give us a gold spatula, Barnacle right? Boy, I think I found all your crystals. All right. Stand back. It's time for a new superpower. <sighs> what happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at Oh, that speed. is gross, dude! Super gross! Incredible. SpongeBob, that is not that that is about as far away from incredible as you could be. Like if you opened the word in the, in the dictionary and you saw incredible, it would say it's the meaning of that opposite situation. Of the opposite oh, of that yeah, situation. Yeah. I can't even speak. So, uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair. And get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> like how Barnacle Boy is just trying to play this off now like it was totally normal. All right, we do get our 70th uh, golden spatula collected, which is pretty awesome. So I'm definitely happy about that. Uh, let's see. So it's interesting because it's still showcasing this as though it's a spatula that we didn't get. Or unless if we actually have to just speak to Mermaid Man. I think that might be what we need to do is speak to Mermaid Man and then we get our... There we go. You could say I had that course licked. Okay, Spongebob. <laughs> Ugh, Spongebob is just so smooth. He's got the best catchphrases, except he doesn't. Okay, sweet. So we get ourselves another golden spatula. That's our 71st gold spatula collected. Let's go. The progress is just absolutely ridiculously awesome. We're making a ton of progress, uh, to be honest. And the other thing I do want to check is actually if we did end up missing anything... On the course, maybe we've missed um, a Patrick sock. Because if I had to guess, again, I, I don't know, obviously. Like I said, I never played the original uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. And so because of that, I don't know if there is going to be a Patrick sock here. But if I had to guess, if I had to guess, I think we're going to go on ahead and fail that jump. That's what I had to guess, clearly. That was such a terrible failure there, Spongebob! How do you do that, bro? Let's fix this. We need to get this done. We need to get this challenge done this time. A nice little combo wombo right there. 
Okay, got an ultra combo actually on that. Mega combo on that jump. Alright, so this time I think I'm just going to go down the path that the game kind of wants you to go down. Which is, I think, through here. Okay. Patrick Sock. Hey, hey, hey! Not bad, not bad! Making some progress! I really hope there's only just the one sock there that we need to find. I guess we'll see. We're going to pay attention still to any possible shortcuts that appear. Because usually they will hide the um, collectible items somewhere along the shortcuts. Okay, these turns are getting absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so I think that was that. I'm pretty sure that was... Everything that we could have completed there. Okay, so next up, what are we going to do? We're actually going to do a character swap because I do remember that in the kelp forest area In order to collect our last remaining uh, Gold spatula we have those camper missions that um, are camper rescue missions that we need to complete But I also am well aware of the fact that we're going to need Patrick's help For that area because I remember we needed um I think we need a character that could throw the freezy fruit, right? So we'll see. Okay. That was not supposed to happen. Ooh, there's a button prompt there. Can you throw that over there? Hmm. He can. I also did not realize that there's literally a character swap right there. Yikes, that's embarrassing. Um, there we go. Patrick, hurry up. Ouch. Hmm. There's another fruit up there as well. Okay, so there's the Freezy Fruit up there. So I do know that that's what we're supposed to get to. That's much better. Can we walk up these vines or no? You can a little bit. Let's see if we can make this jump happen, please! Yes. Okay. So, I think I saw this Patrick Sock back here. There it is. I actually wonder how many Patrick socks have we uh, collected for this area. I think we're missing maybe two. Let's check. Yep. Okay, so we're missing just the two of them. Can you just throw for this to reset? You can. Cool. Yikes, there's a lot of different challenges over here, huh? Okay. Let's see. So for this, I actually will need SpongeBob's help, won't I? Darn it! <laughs> I made it all the way over here, and then I realized, oh, wait a minute. I think I need SpongeBob's help here. Yep. Oh, yay, yay. That's embarrassing. So I'm going to actually have to transform back to SpongeBob here in a moment. I do remember that there was another mission, though, that required... Or at least I think there was another mission. Why is this guy spawned, but you can't actually battle him? That's confusing. Man, there's a ton of these, um... Fruit that you can throw. But I guess the question I have is that... Why do you need to throw said fruit if there's no like aside from just i guess trying to defeat the enemies which is a perfectly good reason i guess to throw some of that fruit there 
Um, how do we get up there? Because I think we are supposed to get up there. Hmm. Okay, I guess that counts. <laughs> I don't know why. We didn't actually complete the mission, but okay. If the game considers that mission complete, okay. I guess we'll take it. Uh, what was that character swapper? It was actually right here, wasn't it? Okay, so I'm going to transform into Spongebob. And then we're going to go do that uh, activation point. Because I am actually curious to see what that does. It must have some sort of a... Unlock. That you can get. So what we'll need to do is get around this enemy here. And we're not going to actually battle that guy. We've already battled him plenty of times before. There's no need for us to battle him again. Okay. So. Cruise bubble ability activate. And, oh, there you go. So there, there's now a way to uh, get that camper mission done. Cool. I guess I'm trying to figure out, how do we get up there? It seems like most of these require some sort of an activation, and so I don't doubt that that's the case here as well. Ow, 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 let me move! Ugh, that's annoying. We literally got, like, trapped right there. So I wonder if I'm supposed to use Patrick and, like, his Freezy Fruit ability to get across there. I don't think you can get up here as Spongebob, can you? Unless if... Let's see. There we go. Again, I am not sure if that's how you're supposed to get up there. But it seems to have worked out. So far. Okay, there's some healing there. The heck was that noise? Oh, those platforms drop down. Got it. Okay. And another platform has risen, allowing us to make it quite a bit higher up here. Okay. Another platform has risen once more. Okay, so the progress is definitely uh, slowly but surely starting to pick up. Like, we're making better and better uh, plays. And so we have only one more camper that needs to be rescued. I also realized that there's a Patrick sock right there. Which, unfortunately... Oh, that is so annoying! I really thought we were going to make it make that jump there. I mean, like, if we had uh, Sandy for that mission, that would be fantastic. That would have been easy. You know? I think I could make this jump. I think this might actually get us up here. Dude! Look at that! From a, a little bit of a frustrating section, we actually did figure that out. That is awesome. Okay, so... I think... I think I also see a spot where we're going to need Patrick's help once more. So I'm going to actually transform into Patrick again. Just because I think that we're going to need his help here. So. Uh, let's get up here. So first of all, this is how you get this mission completed. Even though I guess we kind of got it completed before just by sort of jumping close enough. All right, so let's see where this takes us. Hmm. Okay, another platform has been revealed. Hurry up, Patrick. Hurry on up. Oh, awkward. Wait, were we supposed to grab that? I wonder if that is what we're supposed to grab, actually, here. Yep. Jumps us across again. Another checkpoint reached. Okay. Please, Patrick, make it! 
That was too close. That was too close. That looked like we were totally gonna fail that jump. Okay. How do we... Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up before the fruit! Oh, that was so close! That was way too close. Okay, so I think that's the last camper there, right? Right here? Yes. Whew. And that big giant leap takes us back over to here. Which means we can go back through this way. Back up here. Over and across. And talk to Mrs. Puff! Hello there, people. Oh, whoops. I guess we have to actually talk to Mrs. Puff as Spongebob in order to get the final gold spatula for this area. Which will mean that we are 100% completed on this area. Well, actually, darn it. Yeah, we are still missing one sock, so I'll definitely get that collected, though, in between episodes. No, I, I promise you guys. Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. That, like, uh, cheek slapping excitement there, no Mrs. Problem, Puff. Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. No worries. I'm glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You've definitely earned it. Okay. I don't know why she says it so weird. Golden spatula. Look, she's a ghost or something. Look at that! Ladies and gentlemen, we earned our 72nd golden spatula! And actually, you know what? With me mentioning the fact that Mrs. Puff is speaking as though she is a ghost, I guess that would be appropriate to go on ahead and mention. Ladies and gents, the next area that we're going to explore is definitely going to be somewhat haunted. So, I'm going to go on ahead and ask you guys this as the trivia question of the day, which I know a lot of you guys have probably been uh, completely forgot about the trivia question even being a thing for this episode. But I guess this could be a fun question. What is the name of like the um, ghost sort of character, I guess, like the big famous ghost character within the um, SpongeBob universe? So let me know down in the comment section below. Um, I guess the hint would be maybe uh, look over to here. You can see a pretty uh, ghostly area. And uh, I guess another hint would be that the character is a pirate. So there you go. Let me know what you guys uh, think. And of course, if you know the correct answer, leave that in the comments section below. The last thing we're going to do just before we wrap up the episode is go on ahead and grab ourselves yet another gold spatula reward by speaking so to Mr. Krabs. So we trade in our uh, 12,000... As crazy as it is to say, uh, shiny objects in order to get that reward. Now, the other thing I'm realizing is that actually we can go quickly and speak to Patrick also because I think we have 18, I want to say, uh, socks. So we should be able to trade in another one. There we go. I don't speak Italian. And we get ourselves another golden spatula. So that's actually our 74th golden spatula collected. And let me see. Oh, sorry. I guess we had more than just 18. I had We had 20. We had 20 socks, actually. And so we're at 75 golden spatulas collected. Thank you guys so very much for watching today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I do obviously hope to see you here on the next part of SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Peace out, guys. Thanks all for watching.